Hello and welcome to today's tutorials for the Leopard Mac OS X. Today I wanted to talk about how to customize the login screen, changing your desktop paper in the background of the login screen and the Apple logo. In order to do this, first it's good to designate the um, the wallpaper that you would like to pick it should be uh, the dimensions of your screen mine is a 17 inch and the dimensions for mine is 1280 by 800 so whatever your screen is you'll figure out how to do that um, if you need help with that you can message me anytime and I could help you with that very easily but for now, just stay on topic that um, you should pick out a, a picture, a JPEG picture. Mine is this one that um, I'll put at the end um, an external video of the one I chose because I think it really looks awesome. And it, it'll show you how really customizable it is and how great it can look. Um, so I want to open this with preview. I chose this picture. I moved that image um, down in the corner so that the the login screen shouldn't block the picture. So you might want to do something similar. Uh, I just took Photoshop and I selected the picture and I drug it over and then I filled in the rest with black. It actually isn't the same black but you can't tell on the login screen so I didn't care. <coughs> And, um, anyway, so that's the example, and then, for your Apple logo, you take any picture you want, you crop it to wherever you want it. I decided to take the same picture I just showed you, and crop out the Apple. So I just highlighted it, um, cropped the rest, and then I went to Tools of Preview, and adjust the size make sure that it's 90 by 90 pixels you're going to have to click unclick the, um, the lock key so that it lets you do those dimensions because it doesn't pair automatically like that once that's done you save it as a tip file because that is what your Apple logo needs in order to be recognized so that's very important to remember save as and there you see the format it has a selection of TIFF. Select that if it's not already and save. I already have it saved so I'm not going to do that. Don't save. So, now that we have that those two things picked, then you want to go into your root hard drive, have it on my desktop, um, Go to the systems folder. I have tons of different looking folders because I customize the icons. I can do a video on that if anyone wants. But um, go to library, core services. Excuse my baby, she's very excited about this. Um, scroll down to, we're going to take care of the default desktop. You'll see this. JPEG file just in the middle of these different icons and uh, what you want to do is if it's the default one which mine isn't but if it was you will push down the option key while dragging it into a folder to save the default original picture just in case you ever want to switch back uh, then you want to take the picture on your desktop if it's not already named default desktop do it then but don't do it a TIFF. I don't know why I did that, but um, it should be a JPEG. So, just rename this here JPEG. Oops. Use JPEG. See? And then you make sure it's default desktop. Exactly the way you see it in here. You want to drag and drop. And it's going to say... Do you want to replace? You say yes. It's going to ask you to type in your password, authenticate, and then that's it. Uh, you got your different customized uh, background for the login screen. 
The next thing is in the same folder, you scroll down, look for a security agent app. You want to right click that, show package contents, go into contents, resources, and then on the top you'll see apple apple.logo.tiff. All you want to do is go to the desktop where you designated the picture you chose for the logo. Name it Apple logo if you didn't already. Dot tif. <coughs> then you take it, you drag and drop. Oh, make sure that you save your original Apple logo if you didn't already. Just like you did the other one. Option, you drag and drop into the folder you want to save it in and replace it with the new Apple logo. Once you've done that, my friends, it's all finished. Um, one thing I didn't like that you might want to know about is that there is another icon that you customized and it could look really out of place of your new background. So if you want to uniform it, uh, then you go into System Preferences. It's, you know, your login picture it asks you to pick. Go into the System presence, Preferences, Accounts, and then it asks you if you see the, the whatever picture you picked before. Usually, uh, it gives you all these choices. I originally had um, the butterfly when I first programmed my computer. And, um, but I want to click click um, edit picture because it allows you to choose anything you want at the choose button. Go to the desktop, you take your picture that you wanted for your Apple logo, at least that's what I did. You can pick anything you want and open it and then that's your new picture so it kind of like goes with the, the rest of your customized look. It doesn't have to stick out. Anyway, just a few tips. If you liked it, please rate my video. And let me know you're watching. Take care. And this is my Mac OS X customized login screen.